Are you guys Polish? Yeah. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> no, Robert's a good, he's a good, he's a good guy. I like Robert a lot. Good man. You were saying that there, that for people that are in the Masters from 40 up, that this, it, it's ludicrous to be training really heavy. Well, you know, I mean, I really, it depends on what we call heavy. You see, your body doesn't know how much you're lifting. It's the way you trigger your body. You know, like we can easily, I mean, for example, if guy can do the 400 pound, you know, 500 pound the squat and do it for 500, that's not heavy. If you do it 20 reps, that's not heavy, you know. Yeah. But I don't want guys to say, Oh man, I just did 500 pounds. Well, how many reps you did it? Three. Wow, it was really good. Like, what are you training? You're training your <laughs> joints. You know, your muscles didn't even get anything yet. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Like, people like rely on heavy weight. Heavy. It's really you, it's about activating. The more you know, it's you remember that Sintol. Uh, everybody was using Sintol. It's the same thing, same concept. The more blood you bring to your muscles, the more your muscles are going to expand and get bigger. So that's why they were using synthol or whatever, you know. But but this is what you need to do, you know. Working out, you need to get that nice good pump, you know. And I'm not saying just go hold five pounds and just, no, that's not it's not going to work, you know. Something that you every time you grab a weight, try to fail, you know. Between like I said, on your upper eight to twelve, on your lower fifteen and above. Otherwise, you're just training joints. You know, you don't want to train joints, especially if you're over 40. So would you uh, advocate white men's or stuff? We are training. I don't know, man. He died when he was 39. Oh. <laughs> wow. So I don't know if I want to advocate something crazy. You know, it's... Everybody's different. You know how I was talking about carbs and protein same thing with working out you know people look at me they say man why why branch does that that's what works for branch you know doesn't work for me doesn't work for kai kai does you know that full range of motion and stuff i don't know how branch will look if he did full range of motion he probably blow us all the way you know but that's what he wants to do that's what works for him so everybody's different you know what i mean i'm just giving you like an outline what you should do and how you should do it but I'm not going to be inside you and feel what works for you. Like, for example, guy been working out forever, and then I showed him just six months or whatever, like, certain things for chess. He goes, wow, I can't believe I've been doing it wrong. I'm like, Kai, you're not doing it wrong. You just, you know, a little twitch can make a big difference, you know. So I'll show you the way, but it's up to you to feel if something is working for you or not. Not your friend, not your training partner, you know. Like, if you and your training partner are doing, for an example, squat, and he's feeling a certain way, and you're not, you can't just stick with what he did. Oh, that works for him. No, it's not necessary. It doesn't work. Like I said, just like the food, each and every individual is different. I don't believe on, okay, Mike Minzer or what's his name. No, it's your workout, whatever works for you. You know, I mean, just like Hani, you guys know Hani, FCT7, whatever. I don't know. I mean, does it work? Why don't you try it, honey? No. No, that's what I told him. You know, so everybody's different. I, I just don't like, you know, those everybody have his own principle and stuff. I'm honest, man. I'm right. I, if I want to make a book and sell it and call it bullshit workout, people will buy it. But I'm not going to do this. I'm going to be honest with you. Whatever works for you doesn't work for me. Whatever works for him doesn't work for me. Everybody's different. Do you recommend cardio on your own? Yes. I tell you why I recommend cardio. You know when you're dieting down and stuff, a lot of people use T3 and thyroid medication. Why? Why they use this? To replace cardio <laughs> Well, not only this. It's to really, believe it or not, you know when you go, when you take something like the T3 or whatever, all of a sudden you're like, man, I'm looking more muscular. Oh, I'm losing fat. It's not really. What it does is helping you absorb more food. It's making you more anabolic. That's what cardio do. For skinny people, I take them and let them do more cardio in the off-season because they gain more muscle, because they absorb more food. You know, I'm crazy, but it works. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to go by the boy, oh, man, no, you're skinny, don't do cardio. No, come here, you're skinny, you want to gain weight? Come here, buddy. I want you to do 20 minutes of cardio. What? Yes, 
And then all of a sudden, like, holy shit, I gained 15 pounds. I haven't gained like this in a year because you're doing cardio. So cardio is actually a good way of absorbing more food. Makes you more hungry, makes you digest the food better. I mean, it's, it's a lot of good way in cardio. As a matter of fact, I rely on cardio in the off season more than when I'm dieting for a show. Because when you're dieting for a show and you're on limited calorie, you shouldn't be doing too much cardio. Capish? <laughs> It's really, it's really hard to tell somebody what to take. I'm not working with them. I don't know. I mean, if 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 I tell you how much we use, you'd be like, no way. You know, it's really, it's really, you know what? You, people need to understand. If you're two weeks out from the show, you look shredded and your glutes are showing. Us, there's no reason to do like hocus focus stuff, like all that stuff from 1975. People coming up to me, oh man, should I salt? salt load and should I cut my salt and why you want to cut your salt you've been taking salt all this time why you want to cut it all salt in the last week so you can look like shit I don't understand it you know I mean even Kai Kai's you know he's one of the best in the world when we last year two years ago we we're doing the New York me and him first time you know he said you sure you don't want me to cut salt I'm like Kai why would I cut look at you look at your glutes you why would I cut salt for what just so for the sake that, oh, they used to cut salt, you know, and 20, 30 years ago. No, you just, whatever it's working for you, keep it. Don't do anything drastic at the end. That's where people fail. How many people do you hear them? They say, man, you should see me last week. Yeah. Oh, you should see me two <laughs> days after the show. You know, I, I want to see you now, you know. So that's why. Don't do anything crazy, you guys. Nothing, you know, it's really like landing an airplane, nice and slow. Nothing crazy. Okay. All right, we've got to take a couple more questions, and after that, we're going to start charging money. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about taking testosterone when you're coming up to 40 or that way? When you come what? Up to 40. The age factor. The age factor. Oh, of course. It's, it's, very, it's very important. You know, I mean, uh, HRT is one of the highest business going, and, and I tell you, why is it good? Because it's very dangerous. If your testosterone level is lower than the normal, that's when you have a lot of problems. You know what I mean? Because it's very important hormone in your body. If it's not regulated, you have many, many problems, including, you know, heart attacks and strokes and many things. Yeah, so it's very, very important. But of course, you got to do it by, by a doctor's supervision. All right. And actually, on that subject, would you, would you recommend um, kind of going on and off or bridging throughout the whole year? Or what's your kind of take on this? I always go off. Everything. Including protein, including carb. Everything you gotta everything in life you gotta cycle. Otherwise the human brain is so smart and you get adaptive so quickly. So you always need to make your body guess. So yeah, sometimes I even like we go out with no protein at all whatsoever. Like I give them juice and stuff like this i said just for one week i don't want you to eat anything just you know greens and juice and stuff cleans your system you know so. <clears throat> any more questions just um, to go back to your cardio is that like very much a personal thing when it works for you like doing it in the morning doing it in the evening or before or after training would that be really something you have to figure the out the cardio well, the cardio, cardio is different. Cardio, you have, you know, depends on what you want it to do. If you want it for food absorption and stuff, any time of day is fine. You know, if you want it for cardiovascular, I, I prefer actually, believe it or not, at night. You know, like before your last meal or something. Don't do it last before you go to bed because you deplete all your glycogen. You can't sleep. You run hot. If you want to lose fat, first thing in the morning or immediately after working out but remember you need to have some kind of a branch chain amino acids or protein fast protein to recover for example you first wake up in the morning you get a scoop of hydro whey, drink it or 10 grams of uh, branch chain amino acids and have it and then you know do your cardio it's perfectly fine same thing after working out if you get done working out instead of jumping on a cardio you need to recover your muscles. And we, we talked about the sugar we don't want to take. So that's when you go to high.
hydroway or branching amino acid, and then you can do your cardio. So that way you, you at least you know that you're preserving your muscles. You're not going into catabolic while you're going into doing cardio to burn, you know, because you don't, there's like two times morning and night, your glycogen is depleted, so you can dig into your fat cell right away for energy. And another big, big thing, very important, always, always before a show, you should try to be in shape at least two, three weeks before the show so you can stop cardio. Because a lot of people keep the cardio all the way to the end. And I'm sure you guys heard it many times or it happened to you many times. And then you start carbon up. You're like, oh my God, I'm carbon up and I'm losing weight. Well, the reason why, because your body's used to burning fat for energy. So it doesn't recognize the carb. So it goes right through you, actually fast up your metabolism more and you, you lose more weight instead of filling up. Okay, so keep that in mind. Carb loading jars last week, do you recommend this? Pardon? You know, carb loading, that kind of stuff, do you recommend yeah, You know what I do is like kind of, first of all, we don't take the carb completely down except if you're really out of shape or whatever. So uh, what I do is, uh, let's say we have six meals a day and you're only having three meals of carbs, you know, a week before the show. So all what I do is I add the carb for the last three meals. I don't want to overdo it or whatever. Just let your body, you know, do your natural thing, okay? Because those carbs, you know, you know, because if you're taking two cups of rice, you have about a cup of water. So that's how I do it. I add the carb and I lower the water a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So whatever I add from the carb, I take it out of the water. That's how you come in dry, okay? It was nice talking to you guys. Uh, I guess that will do it, you know. Thank you for having us in Ireland and looking forward for many, many years to come. <laughs>